<laughs> Welcome back to another week. Okay, we're here. We decided to pick the coldest day of Arizona since we've moved here to go in the water for pictures. But look at how pretty. Are you guys ready to get wet? Yeah. You are? Are you guys gonna smile nice, greasy? Gracie. <laughs> but we're going to the Phoenix Museum. You excited? Yeah. Okay. Happy Halloween. I'm too big for this stuff. Ready? You want to on to the <laughs> no, they're driving to our house. We need to do some makeup. Eat a little more chicken and then we'll do your blood. Let's go upstairs to see Miss Mercy. The baby stuff are like six months. We couldn't find anything to fit her. We did, however, get these hats out of the cat section. You got some fake hair. Oh, look at your lovely lady locks. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Mercy? All right, let the pheasant festivities, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, begin. <laughs> oh, we have our scented candles. So these candles are gonna smell, or these pumpkins are gonna smell real good. Oh, no, <laughs> is it too thick? You can do it. I got separated. <laughs> Miss Mercy's got her cat hat on. Okay, first door of the night.
bat. Let me see. Whoa. Krishna, I like your eyebrows. Thank you. Let me see your face. Uh, what happened? I'm at my school. Are you okay? Okay, let me see your face. <laughs> Then you did. You gonna wait here? Yeah. Where'd the trick or treaters go? Oh, it's this way. Somebody's over there. There's lots of people. Bye -bye, Hey babe, come look at Gracie's dedication. Some water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spider web. We can't do this left handed. The star is there right there. The candy corn. Orange bat. Orange bat. Where's the orange bat? <gasps> you guys both won! Yeah! Do you make that? Yeah. Look at your witch bug. It came out awesome. Did you have a good first Halloween? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Happy Halloween. All of your candy's gone. We ate it all. You know that big bag of candy in your pumpkin bag? It's it's empty. No. Guess who ate it? Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad ate all of your candy. Are you mad? Are you mad? I am. I am mad. You're mad? Christian, are you mad? No? I'm sad. You're sad? Mm -hmm. That we ate your candy? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can maybe forgive us? Mm -hmm. do you for are you mad at mom or do you forgive me? Mm -hmm. You forgive me? I'm mad at you mad at dad? <laughs> Daddy joking. He was joking? You still have your candy? At the zoo, Ben's family. I don't know if you can hear this, but they're playing Christmas music. The day after Halloween. <laughs> Whoa!
Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a great group photo, huh? We have like two kids crying and Christians. <laughs> say Can I see your tie? Look, you got a tie bar on and a flower. I got a new phone. Yeah, I got a new phone. You got chocolate on your face. There goes Gracie. There's Grandma and Papa. Ready? She can be wide awake for this. Start the music. Here's this week's message and montage, and I'll see you soon. When Joseph Smith is in Liberty Jail and the saints are suffering and being murdered, the prophet is pleading with the Lord for things to be over and things to be different, but what happened? Months are passing and he's still in jail. But just because time seems to be standing still doesn't mean God is. And just because we may be waiting doesn't mean that we are to be idle. Think of all of the revelation Joseph received while captured. The many chapters in DNC that we wouldn't have if he decided to shut down from his situation, if he decided to allow the adversary in his mind any longer with those negative thoughts that keep us standing still or moving back. Maybe it's not about just making it out alive and dragging ourselves to the end, but what if, like it was with Joseph, it's about what we get during it all. In your long seasons, decide to be productive with your time. Actively seek out lessons and opportunities. Move forward with the things you know you should be doing and what God wants you to do. We're allowed to feel deflated. We're allowed to struggle or feel ups upset or sad, but it's up to us whether or not to choose to live there. Little do we know what's right around the corner for us when we choose to remember God. Opportunities that await, the people, the growth, the blessings, because truly the best things come from God. You may be in a hard or long season right now, but seasons don't last forever. Just because things haven't worked out yet doesn't mean they won't. Don't hold yourself back from learning and growing and experiencing other things. Don't lose confidence. God knows what's important to us and what you need. His promises are real. There are far, far better things ahead, I promise. God promises. That's what I love about Him. You will never be shortchanged from the best blessings ever. Your prayers have been heard, but greater is what He has in store for you. Christian, what's your joke? Waka 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 waka. Waka waka. Christian, what's your joke? It's about a chicken and it won't have eyes, but it'll be 